Welcome back, guys, to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Well, last episode, after checking out some newly unlocked things, we chose a new crewmate to add to our ranks as a hopeful main character, settling on Zeta and her Dragoon playstyle before testing her out against Vulcan Bola in the saga continues, Fire. We now undertake her fate episodes involving a love-struck young boy called Vaughn, having just defeated a rock golem to unlock a slot, as we now continue. Right, we have the sigil unlocked. We still, of course, have more to come in this category. We're not at 50 or higher at this point for another slot, but we can at least do the next three. So let's get the stats that come with that. Hey there, Zeta! So glad I caught you again. How did he always know when I was in Seed Hollow? He was clueless to his clinginess. And it was testing my patience. Are you free today? I was thinking we could go on a picnic. I mulled it over for a bit. A picnic didn't sound half bad. It was a nice day after all. Oh no. Is this a bad time? His puppy dog eyes bore into my soul. How could I say no to that? Kids just have this way of triggering your protective instincts. Not to mention they can be terrifyingly perceptive. You know what? The weather's great today. So count me in. His face lit up with joy. And I turned to my next important decision. What to have for lunch. I didn't have to think too hard about that. When it came to picnics, sandwiches were the only way to go. This must be the lad I've heard so much about. A few days earlier, I was in the ship's lounge telling the captain about Vaughn when Vasaraga happened to walk in. So he ended up learning about the kid, too. He listened without saying much. Never was the talkative type, anyway. Hi, mister. I'm Vaughn. I half expected Vaughn to cower from Vasaraga, but instead the boy dropped a friendly hello. Maybe he had a strict upbringing. Call me Vasaraga. Vasaraga looked at me, then at Vaughn, then back at me again. What did he want? So that's how it is. Here, Zeta. Take these. I peeked into the bag he gave me and did a double take. It was stuffed with fruit sandwiches. These come highly recommended by Vern, Lyria, and the captain. You should split them with Vaughn. For the both of us. Huh. Call me crazy, but it almost sounded like he went out of his way to buy these for us. I rummaged through the goods and caught sight of one sandwich stuffed with melon slices and another with peaches. Nice. Those are my favorites. Hey, great pickups, Basaraga. Can't wait to scarf these down. Go for it. Cha-ching! Jackpot! Vaughn and I said our goodbyes to Vasaraga, and we found an open bench in a park just outside the city. You look really happy. Are you a big fruit fan? I was jamming an ungodly amalgamation of fruit, bread, and whipped cream into my face. I think that counts as a yes. Yeah, more or less. I like anything as long as it's tasty. Ah, that's good to know. There was no chance in hell Vasaraga picked out these cute sandwiches all by himself. Absolutely none. Someone in the crew must have tagged along. The thought of him stomping through the aisles of a shop filled with cupcakes and cookies drew a chuckle out of me. So, um, are you and Vasaraga an item? <coughs> are we an item? Gross! Is that what it looks like to you? Look, he's just my co-worker. I'm kind of stuck with him. Uh-huh. He opened his mouth as if he had more to say. But I guess he changed his mind. We ended up having a fascinating chat about bugs instead. Fruit sandwiches sounds like just a mistranslation. I don't know. But... I had this weird image in my head, like, I'm sure I have ate banana 
in sandwiches before. And not only was it banana in the sandwich, I think there was salted crisps too. <laughs> I think my grandparents fed me this. And I just like sudden splashback going, wait a second. That's oddly specific. Did this happen? Anyway, episode six, Facing Facts. Good afternoon, Zeta. It's always nice to see you. It was another gorgeous day. Vaughn came bounding over to see me for like, what, the hundredth time? Or maybe even millionth? I wanted to give you something to say thanks for the souvenir you got me. I hope you like it. He held out a beautifully wrapped box, its sides emblazoned with the logo of a world-class bakery. <sighs> I didn't know what to say. Kids ought to be spending their lunch money on cheap snacks, not fancy pants pastries. Are you sure you want me to have this? How could you even afford this with pocket change? Don't you know it's discourteous to appraise the worth of one's gift? Uh... How do you know big words like that? Papa told me. Oh, great. Don't tell me he got his family involved. I wanted to show you how much I care, so I saved up my allowance. Zero Carte helped me pick a shop that's popular with girls. Vaughn stared at the ground as he spoke, stealing an occasional glance at me to gauge my reaction. He had put his feelings out there in the only way he knew how. And it was all coming to a head. In a situation like this, I had to be firm yet considerate. I could never live with myself if I trampled over his heart, even if I didn't mean to. I thought for sure you'd like it. I guess I was wrong. He kicked at the dirt, still unwilling to meet my gaze. Wow, as if I didn't feel guilty enough already. What are you talking about? This is an awesome gift. Thank you. As soon as I said that, his toothy smile came roaring back with a vengeance. But from now on, you can't give me any more presents. Why not? In one fell swoop, he turned my words against me. Poor boy was on the verge of tears. His voice quivered as he explained his intent. He had seen how delighted I was with Vasaraga's gift of sandwiches, and all he wanted was to deliver that same joy. Oh, you sweet darling boy. You've got a lot to learn, but your heart's in the right place. I'd hate to leave you jaded. I decided that honesty was the best course of action. No more tiptoeing around the issue. It's a lovely gift, but I'm worried you're not eating enough to grow big and strong. That's why I want you to spend your money on snacks for yourself, okay? Okay, got it. Way to go, Zeta. So much for being up front with him. I'm glad you understand. Now why don't we dig into this yummy treat together? Sure, I'd be happy to feed you. Gah. Why, you conniving little... My hands work just fine, thank you very much. Oh, but if I cry, you'll acquiesce to anything. Another 20 attack, yes. And our last one for now. New little brother. Oh no, not more of these kids. We need to stop. We got a spear. We're fending them off. From now on, I'm gonna prove that we're meant for each other. The talk I had with Vaughn yesterday only intensified his resolve. I asked him what he had in mind. First, I'll get to know you better, Zeta. A little late for that, but at least he was thinking in the right direction. Let me see. Okay, first question. What's your type of guy? Subtlety wasn't Vaughn's strongest point. How to be compatible with your partner is something you should figure out for yourself. Huh? 
but I don't know how to do that. It's faster just to ask. Hmm. This kid. Hmm. Do you like strong guys? You could say that. I prefer someone who knows how to fend for themselves. Means I don't have to worry about them as much. Well, that's perfect, then. Vaughn stood up straight and tall and proudly puffed out his chest. I'm still in the middle of sword training, but I'm the best out of all the kids in the class. Even the bigger ones. Already outclassing the older kids, huh? Not bad, not bad. I wonder how I stacked up when I was his age. Now do you love me? Not even close. Fui. His reactions cracked me up. There was never a dull moment with this kid. Uh, there has to be a way for me to win your heart. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was just too precious. I didn't mean to laugh, but his frustration caught me off guard. He was trying so hard against the odds to win me over. If we were around the same age, things might have been different. I don't care about being precious. I care about you. The more he sulked, the harder it became to hold in my giggles. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I patted his head in an attempt to lighten the mood. But he wasn't having it. <laughs> Bahamut saved me. This kid was so sweet he was gonna give me cavities. What with the bathing of eternal flame to burn you to a crisp? <laughs> Is that the saving you want? <laughs> well, there's Zeta all the way up to number 8 out of 11. He is of course complete. We will check out more in time. Because, of course, we can go quite far with a lot of peoples, if not all the way with certain peoples. All right, see you. Let me, before we now really hit those quests to finish the job Roland started, of which we've only done two thus far. We have to hopefully find some of the lead-ins to these, or just complete quests to find more, which is what it said when we got our first note. Or more to the point. He wants me to talk to that person specifically. Interesting. I missed a quest. How did I miss it? I was to the left here. So much. Hey there. Down here. Can I jump down? No. Nope. So then... Gotta experiment with like uh, the color changing kind of stuff that's going on as well. All right, we need to defeat five wyverns. Oh, we could have got some in the last one. Some quality arithmetic and 250 more mastery points. Wyverns are the worst. They need to die, obviously. That's one. And there is only actually one more. And oh, there's two, actually. Tell a lie. Curse that quick and all. It looked like he... It looked like such a comfy rock, but when I tried to take a seat, it attacked me. I dropped my bag as I fled, and now I want payback. Get that rock croc. <laughs> Let's some I'm sure we'll come across it in time. Let's have a quest. Why is there a magnifying glass on the map? Hey there. <laughs> Not bad. That's new. I just like the animation of opening a chest with the, the spear. It's great. <laughs> right here, we need magma worms, of which we have enough for 250 more mastery points. Ready for some action. Then daddy's ain't got nothing on you. Sweet. Right. Now, this... What is this? What's this? Now we can always fast travel. I should probably see exactly where that would take me. <laughs> Zaf by appraisal. Stumble across a curio. Get it looked at by Zafba and he'll give you an item for it. Maybe even a rare one. Got no curios, huh? 
I don't have any curios. Okay, so you find curios, you come to him, he trades you curios stuff. Sure. Hello. This is the very much the destination for us at this point in time. Which will it be? Alright, so novice should be cleared now, if I'm right in saying. So there's no marker that says it's completely cleared? We're at four thousand two power now. Move on to Veteran Skyfarer. Defeat Hornbirds and Wyverns? Well, we've got a quest to do that. Hornbirds and Wyverns are known to wreak havoc on good airships, and with recent sightings of these pests increasing along our trade routes, new maintenance requests have been flooding in. We'd like an experienced crew to clean up our Skyways ASAP. Be on your way. One of those a curio? Oh no, one of them was definitely something. One of them was definitely glowing. Very good. 1,000 power above the rating for this quest. So, basically, for the next part, where we try to figure out exactly what we're doing to get these jobs done, we are going to be tackling quests from hard upwards. And hopefully I'll get better. Uh, Zeta while I'm at it. On which side? It's this quest again, but higher mode. More monsters. You ready? I was about to say, you better finish that off before it lands. Dying on me. We just keep coming. Oh, well, we'll it's this side. Spot. I mean, I have this idea that you'll probably kill these as soon as they land. Like those ones are set up for you to just get it really easily. What the hell? A bird! That's what way down. It looks like there's still more of them. I'm not liking the look of this, but don't let it intimidate you. That one lands straight away. Oh, they really came in. You land, you're dead. Let's go, crew. You lead the way. More monsters. You ready? They killed that guy instantly again. Get him. Well, I fell within three minutes again. Voted by 15 seconds. And I think that's everything. You were awesome out there. What how fast it's gonna be for me to reach level 60. So these Here. quests that we do with the marker Easy peasy. have more quests behind them. That's what it seems to be.
Yeah, I better be MVP. <laughs> I shot a lot of guys. <laughs> oh, we still made S++. Guess I just did good in the base shooting. And that does get us experience too. Level 50, so that's another thing we can watch now, actually. Gold badge ticket. Ticket that awards additional Dahlia badges after a quick quest. Usable only while playing online. Can't be added to wish list. 12 charred number. That is a quest item. And you got drop items for that as well. May as well see the next fate episode while we're here. Looks like you've got the hang of handyman work now, Ed. You think so? I know so. Everyone in town says they can come to you with their problems. Got the hang of it, have you? All right, this is for a slot, so it's going to be a boss fight, right? Could be a thing. Could have me beaten up horribly. We'll have to see. Yes, I am on my own. <laughs> Uh-oh. I could always just plop up some more masteries a little bit. Wait a second, this spear needs to be upgraded. Oh, I don't have a thing for it, do I? Maybe I do now. Well then, so long. There's a thing here. Cool for volunteers. There's another one over here as well. Hey, little item. Restoration festival announcement. I'm all here. Tempering your weapons. Always strive to be I do have enough to uncap this level. Temper even more now. Leave it to me. It's a great success. There we go. I would love to uncap it further, but I definitely need some more stuff for that. Thanks for coming. Just even getting that alone will increase my power a bit. And apart from that, we did, of course, unlock one extra slot. I'm going to take the attack power 4 away from you. Sorry, Id. Apologies. Right, so with that, we got two things to read as well. Space here. Call for volunteers. Remnants of Avia's forces still lurking Zega Grande. Now you can help keep the people of Seed Hollow safe by enlisting in the Volunteer Corps. Why are they bad though? Because their their leadership, the remains, seems to have turned. Candidates with previous military experience have the opportunity to enroll in the officer program. Any aspiring soldiers itching to fight alongside their fellow comrades are more than welcome. The training will not be easy, but every recruit is guaranteed a warm bed and a filling meal. Help us build a world where we can all live in peace. The Restoration Festival announcements. Let's heal as a community. These are tough times for all of us. While it will take many months, maybe even years, of hard work to restore the castle to its former glory, the lives lost in the attack can never be returned. Yet as we survivors, or we as survivors, must look to the future, especially if our children are to live their days in happiness. For their sakes and ours, we must move forward with smiles on our faces. This festival was organized to soothe broken hearts and frayed nerves. Enjoy food and shopping from a plethora of participating businesses. The soldiers will hold a parade to commemorate the fallen. Our hearts need healing. Come recuperate as a community and celebrate as we officially begin the reconstruction of Seed Hollow Castle. Right, so let's just keep increasing me because an extra 1,000 health is probably going to do quite well. Uh, defense tiers that we've managed to go down to as well because seemingly giving in a card later is better. A whole new sigil sock is pretty good to get. <laughs> 520 to go down to here. This slot was HP plus 700, by the way. This was HP 500. <laughs> okay, that's probably changed my stats complexion a little bit. Um, yeah, 8,858 health seems pretty decent. I would say. And we can also complete this for another 250 points. The Wyverns were defeated after all. Easier than eating apples. It was indeed. Yeah, maybe stacking health would be the thing for me to go with at the moment. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, does it? In the defense tree, instead of going for damage, I just go full on defense. <laughs> And I guess defense in this is to get health. Thank you so much. Hello. 
All right, Fate Episode boss, I'm ready for you. I'm probably going to get smacked by you. Let's find out. Crimson and Ebony. Oh, wait, we actually got another slot as well. How many? So many. Uh, <laughs> more health. 10,000 health. The air in Seed Hollow that morning was electric. I hadn't felt that amped up in a good while. Time to get this show on the road. Roger that. Vasaraga had met up with me right on schedule. I sucked in a lungful of the morning chill to calm my nerves. Good morning, Zeta. Good morning, Vasaraga. Morning. You're up awfully early today. Where are you guys going? He must have sensed something big was in the works. The concern in his voice was clear as day. A couple of rough customers challenged us to a serious fight. I want to come too! Can I please? It wasn't like him to try to tag along. He knew better than that. No can do, little man. This isn't a game. But... but I've been practicing my sword swings every day! I can help you beat the... Of all the days he could have picked to be fussy, why did it have to be today? Sparring and actual combat are worlds apart. Pride goeth before destruction. It was obvious from the frown on Vaughn's face that he wasn't going to take no for an answer. I need you to be good and listen to us, all right? We left Vaughn behind and made a beeline for Seed Hollow Castle. We stepped into its great hall, where Magliel and her sword veil were already waiting. Allow me to extend my utmost gratitude for taking the time to indulge my invitation. Ugh, can the formalities. I came here to throw down, not listen to boring speeches. I didn't think the castle would be okay with us doing battle within its walls. Well, no one else was using the hall. Let's just say those who help with the castle's restoration are afforded special privileges. This woman, for all her pomp and circumstance, was no joke of a warrior. I was curious as to whether your weapons are deserving of their legend. My fellowship prides itself with collecting only the most prized armaments. Ha! <laughs> I knew there had to be more to this call-out. I'll get straight to the point. We are interested in purchasing your seal weapons. Allow me to appraise their performance during our little skirmish. In other words, she was making us an offer we couldn't refuse. Even though this isn't a fight to the death, don't come crying to me when you get your asses handed to you. Magliel didn't respond. She simply smirked, and an arsenal of magic swords materialized around her. I tightened my grip on our vest and took a deep breath. I thought back to all the times Vasaraga and I had cheated death. It made me feel invincible. This victory belonged to us. Let's do this, Seda. Hell yeah! The words were barely out of my mouth before I was leaping into the fray. Wait, 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 I have to... Oh, it's not Solo, it's Duo, but it's her! Oh no! Is this a waltz of warriors? On guard! Now then, may I have the first dance? See what you will Oh, and your buddies, and they're level 50. Don't get distracted. She's no ordinary foe. <laughs> Stop that! I'm trying to shoot your buddies! <laughs> just, they just block everything, I hate them. It seems the charge ability is a good way of getting at them. Don't want to attack me. Come if you dare. 
Yes, I probably should have noticed. You were getting all swordy at me. But if I can get your swords, I will. It's the name of the game, isn't it? Get into the gap there, but obviously not. On the right side of that, but obviously not. Bring it. Got him. Infinite one. Do not hide from me. All right then. A charming gift. Oh, what? Shot. Spinny. As well, and everything is going on at once. Ah! Okay, I've got a I've got control now. At least that shoots them really well. <laughs> it really wrecks them. Could have held out a bit longer. 72%. Nah, you put up a good fight. I'm down to spar again anytime. I can't get near him. Not bad. Broke some more of those defenses at least. <laughs> Didn't know it. That's a lag I had it ready or not, to be honest. above stuff.
If I was already up in the air, I'd be good. I need to. What are you doing here, kid? What are you doing here? I, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop worrying about you. This situation is vexing, to say the least. Everyone, make sure no harm comes wonder. to the girl. Yes, the lady. Oh, yeah. One more. Close call. Oh, my. My hand slipped. Got him. <laughs> Oh, I could dodge and continue into it. That's a good thing to know. Finally got rid of all your crap, did I? I want to charge in, but I can't. as much of these souls as I can. <laughs> What a beat I stayed for There's something magical about these single battles as well. Like, I feel like I am getting a lot better due to it. They give me time to at least get a bit more about, like, how do I want to flow my skills into each other, maybe. Oh, I should have looked for the wall first. My soul's being unburdened. Let's 
to about to press dodge from that, and I think I got hit by something else entirely. I get hit by all oh, the things above me. All I care about is killing these weapons as fast as possible at this point. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's very nice of you to deliver this to me. Four percent. How you went up? Not bad. Phew! There was a lot to that fight. I knew that fighting Magliel would be really interesting, though. Thank you both for exhibiting the beauty of Arves and Grinna. You're not so bad yourself. Most people would have lost to us by now. Yes, being so defensive. Yeah. Score one for us. It's quite a thing. Can't we just have Magliel as a character? You better have a good reason for sneaking in here, little man. I didn't want you getting hurt. That's all. Oh, why didn't you stay put like I told you to? I said this wasn't a game. There's no excuse for being a distraction on the battlefield. Every swordsman knows that, even rookies. Vaughn fell silent, realizing he couldn't argue back. He just stood there with his head hanging down. Crap. Was I too hard on him? But here's the thing about warfare. If you're all valor and no discretion, you're gonna end up in a coffin real fast. I messed up. I'm sorry. Vaughn looked so miserable. It was like watching a kid choke down bitter medicine. Ugh, what can I say to soften the blow? You made a mistake, but your intentions were true. It takes courage to own up to one's error and apologize. Vasaraga gently clapped the boy on the shoulder with his rugged mitt. Vaughn quickly perked up after that. Vasaraga's like a giant teddy bear when it comes to kids. I can count on him to smooth things over when I get too preachy. No arguments there. Oh well. What's done is done. Me chewing you out isn't gonna change the past. Thanks, Vasaraga. I needed that save. Hold on, Zeta. Don't move. He reached up and applied a cool, damp salve onto my right cheek. I wasn't lying when I said I was worried about you. See? You did get injured. Hey, even the pros get banged up every now and then. It's not really an injury, per se. More like a scratch. I'm amazed you even spotted it. Just so you know, this medicine was made from the ingredients you collected. The hospital director was really happy for your help. Sheesh. When was the last time someone coddled me this much over a tiny cut? I had to admit it felt nice. Thank you, Vaughn. I think we're about done here. Come on, Vaughn. I'll take you home. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Vaughn had taken a shine to the big guy. 
It wasn't hard to see why, given the way Vasaraga treated him with kid gloves and all. You have my thanks for giving me a taste of Arves and Grinoth. You both handled those weapons with skill and finesse. Damn right we did. You didn't even make us break a sweat. <laughs> Is that so? I got the sense that this weapons nut wasn't actually invested in the fight itself. She just wanted an excuse to research our vest. And maybe to brag about her own collection. Kind of funny how just talking about tools of destruction sends her into a frenzy. Then again, I get hyped about testing my combat skills, so who am I to judge? By the way, I think we deserve a bit of compensation for our troubles. Oh dear, how silly of me. You're right. I must pay the price for losing the challenge. I suppose I could bid farewell to my precious, beloved Gaiborg. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't make me out to be the bad guy. How about this? Why don't you treat me to the tastiest dessert this Skydom has to offer? Magliel's frown vanished in the blink of an eye, and her tears dried up like magic. Though I'm not even sure she was crying in the first place. Why, it would be my pleasure. Did you know there is a hidden gem of a bistro that serves pancakes topped with rare fruits right here in Seed Hollow? Shut up! What kind of rare fruits are we talking about? She was literally bouncing with excitement. Cultivated by only the greenest of green thumbs, each luxurious piece of nature's candy is a crowning achievement of sweetness. The cream of the crop. You simply must taste it to believe the capital's best kept secret. Huh. So you do have other hobbies outside of weapon collecting. Alrighty, you're on. I'll be in touch about dates and stuff. As I left the castle hall behind, I saw that Vasaraga and Vaughn hadn't gotten much of a head start on me. I ran to catch up to them, all the while wondering, does Basaraga like pancakes? And as strange as it sounds, out of all the missions I'd wrapped up lately, I hadn't felt a greater sense of accomplishment than in that moment. Alright, another sigil slot is unlocked. Big stats are to come in the future. Good day. Yes. Won't be...